So today, Pal World brought out another update, and we're on version 0.1.4.1. Now, we're going to be trying a couple of glitches out to see what's been passed and what hasn't been passed. And we're going to start off with something that I didn't try in the last one, but did still work. We're going to try capturing the boss here at the Rain Syndicate Tower entrance. So first, we're going to go to the small settlement, get some guards on our tail, and then we're going to head over. There he is. Sorted. Okay, immediately, that already looks different. Because usually when you're doing that, there's only a few guards that come after you. Like, oh my god, there's so many of them already. Right next to me as well. How many is that? Three, I think? One, two, four! That, that is unheard of. Usually it's like one or two, max. There's five of them there! Oh, we died. So we're going to try that again. That seems... The guards, there's a lot more guards who chase, you know. It was literally one or two before this patch. But now there's just an insane amount. There was five in there with me then. Like, what the hell is that about? Usually there's just one glitch on the outside of the arena. Quickly go to the rain tower. See? Already nearly dead. If one hits me, I am down. Okay, we've made it. We've made it. This is just bad luck, isn't it? Oh, he's been hit. He's been hit. He's running to the side. We bring him back just to be safe. When he stops, that's when we're going to try and catch him. Okay, so there is your answer. That has not been patched. It's just gotten a lot harder with these PIDF guards. They are nuts at the moment. So, yeah, let's move on to the next glitch, I guess. I mean... I'm surprised that that still works because they have done work to the PIDF guards, but they just haven't fixed that glitch. I've got one more to catch as well on the other server. I've got one more to catch before they patch it completely, so yeah, I need to get that done. So the next one we're going to try out is the merchant glitch. Okay, so here we are at the abandoned mine shaft, and we're going to go and try and do the merchant glitch again. Um, I'm guessing this one's been patched, surely. Because this is quite game breaking with the amount of cash you can get and the amount of um, XP you can get. So here he is, the black market here. I'm going to set my pal to attack aggressively. And then we're going to throw the pal out. We're going to talk to him and go into buy contraband. Oh, oh, hang on. This looks like it's been patched. Yep, yep. There goes my Earth Kid here anyway. He's got two Cognito out as well. Okay. Maybe it's been patched. Let's try again. I tell you what, we'll use that Grizz Bolt that we've just captured. Um, we can actually see if this works as well. So our Ithkadir is down for the count. But if we build a bed, let's see if we push the Ithkadir on there. Whether it actually revives it or not. Yes, it does. So that is still working. No problem. Yeah, let's get him back out. I mean, he's got a major injury, but it is what it is. We're only using them to ride them, so... There you go. That is a quick, quick way to revive your pals. So, let's go back up to the Desolate Church and head over to the Merchant one more time. Okay, that took a while without me stuff. So, we're back at the Black Market here anyway. And we're going to try this again with Zoe and Grisbolt. So, command attack aggressively. Right, we're in the menu now. So, let's see. This seems to be working still. Look what we can buy as well. Ribbony, Jolt Hog Chris, Chillet, Gale Claw, and a Bristler. So, this still works as well. So, we're going to back out a second, call the pal back, and we're going to leave. So, that definitely still works. And we're going to go and try out the pal sphere glitch now. Right, okay, we've got a level 6 Jolt Hog that we're going to try and capture. We've only got one pal sphere left, so... Hopefully, this is the one. Right, we're on top of it as well. We caught it. And as you can see, that still works. Which is awesome. Awesome news. Because it just makes it a lot easier to get where you need to go. So yeah, that's that one done. Okay, so the next one we're going to try out is the clipping through water. Now, this is the one I'm hoping that's been patched the most. And it just hasn't. It really just hasn't been patched. So we're going to go down to the bottom anyway. Hey, look how far you can drop here. Maybe they just fix that. That might be a start. Hey, look how far that goes. Right, okay, so we're down. 
Down at the bottom at least anyway. Look, can't even see the top. And we're just going to try and mount the Ithkadir. No, okay, so we're going to call it back. We're going to throw it. We're going to see where it goes. Yeah. Okay, so not even let us throw it now. Okay. Yeah. Is that the way you want to play? So this seems to have got worse. So far. Okay, so we can ride it now. Why are you on the floor now? You're meant to be at the top. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Okay, it's doing that weird thing, so it's gonna teleport us back to the it's gonna teleport us back to the base, I think, at this point. Or you know not. I haven't got a clue where I am now. There you go. So it's teleported back to the base. So, yeah, there you have it. That one is still an issue. If something happens to the amount and you die down there, you are screwed. There's no two ways about it. You are done for. All your stuff's down there. So you're just going to have to respawn. Just forget about all that stuff. Or go and get it with a different type of mount later on. And how do you do it? Just to be uh, clear, you get a mount. You jump on the mount. You jump in the water. And as soon as you hit the water, dismount. And then you will be under the water. And then, yeah, you get back up by just throwing your mount and then just riding it again. You can either be underwater and then you'll sort of, like, glitch out for a little while and then be teleported back to your base. Or you'll shoot back up to the top. You'll teleport back to the top onto your mount. So, yeah, that is still unpatched. Okay, so the next glitch we're going to try out is the egg duplication glitch. Now, I've had to do this in the server that I'm in. I don't usually do stuff like this in the server. I usually do it in a private server, but I haven't actually got to that level in the private server just yet, so... We are just going to do it once on this server just to see if it works or not. So what you do, you put your egg inside of the incubator. And we're going to wait the three minutes. And when it gets down to about 15 seconds, we're going to do something else. One thing you also need to do is have something close by. So we're going to build a chest close by right here. So we'll build this as well. And then join us back when the three minutes is nearly up. All right, okay, so here we are with... 17 seconds left so we're going to go into the menu on keyboard and mouse this by the way we're going to click to pick it up and we're going to press tab and then we're going to back out go into our little chest and just wait until that timer hits zero and then we're going to put it inside of the wooden chest after it hits zero so incubation complete and we'll pop it in there so this looks like it also hasn't been patched so yeah there you go now we can hatch this one and then we can put that other one back inside. There we go, we got a Raindrix, and now we can put that back inside. So we'll take that out, and then we can pop it inside. You can do that as many times as you want, and I do believe, I'm not sure, quote me if I'm wrong, that it does hatch the same one every single time. So yeah, on to the next. Okay, so this one I want to try involves the little camps that you find with all the syndicate thugs and stuff like that. So this one, I want to kill every single one apart from one and then just respawn and come back to it. So you can get a, a pal from here as well. So we'll try and rescue this one while they're all fighting. So there we go, we rescued that one. So we get a pal there. And now we're just going to try and kill all of these but leave one and then we're going to respawn. Not respawn, we're going to exit to the title screen. I apologize. So, as you can see, there's one left. We're going to exit the title. And then we're going to come back in. And hopefully they'll have all respawned. So, back into that private server. And look, there you have it. They're all respawned. So... This is a good way to farm some XP, PAL spheres, ammunition, you name it, you can get it here. And I'm going to die right here, so let's get out of here before that happens. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the glitches, I think, now. So let me know what you think of this one down below. Don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And let me know if I missed any and I'll test them out. Catch you in the next one. Peace.